Have you folks been enjoying the uh, primetime lineup this summer here on CBS? It's a trick question. I didn't say, have you been watching? I said, have you been enjoying? enjoying. Have you been enjoying? I love to, I love to poke fun at the suits. <laughs> yeah, the staff members bring in their vacation photos. And... Whoa! So what are you referring to? Huh? Did a staff member show you a, a vacation photo? That what was, did I say? Did you was, just get here? Well, yes, but then... <laughs> You do a big reaction after, whoa! Yeah. Whoa, and then you say, we've got to put a stop to that. Yeah, come and see me after the show. All right. <laughs> easy, easy. I don't, nothing incriminating here, if you don't mind. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, know what we're going to do. We have uh, letters here that uh, they come in from the uh, viewers. Yeah. <laughs> and? Huh? And what happened? And then, then we answer them. We answer I'm, them. I'm preoccupied because... Uh, I had a bad day today, and I just, there's nothing I can, I just, uh, you know, we'll get the real audience in here like that, and you can kiss that lobster goodbye. I just, I just, uh, I had to, I had to, I made a call. I do this every, once a week now, I've gotten into this bad habit where I call people at the network and scream at them. Oh. And I'm tired of it. Sure. I, sh I shouldn't be doing that. Of course I, not. A few weeks ago, I had a massive heart attack. Yes. And yeah, that's how I kick off my day. I pick up the phone and I call this guy out there in California yeah. and I scream at him. Scream, yeah. 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 That ain't right, is no, it? it can't be good. No. Uh, le anyway, what we have here are letters, uh, and we answer them on the viewer mail segment in the CBS uh, viewer mail bag, and that's what we'll do tonight. Okay. Letter, huh? Letter number one, huh? Yeah, letter number one. Dear Dave, just wondering if you have taken the Pepsi challenge and what the results were. <laughs> well, the Pepsi challenge, this is a, a very popular television commercial that was uh, on the air, oh, I guess about 20 years ago. <laughs> Apparently this was lost in the mail. Oh, yeah, the postmark. 1978. Yeah, I've, I've taken the Pepsi challenge. Maybe you haven't seen my new commercial. Take a look at that. Okay, I'm going to try the first one. Gee, God. Oh, that's awful. Okay, I'm going to try this one now. Oh, this is worse than the first one. I'll pick the first one. Okay, take off your blindfold. Oh, Mr. Clean. I think. <laughs> Mr. Clean, it's delicious. Yeah, now I'll take the not in place, but then I'm to You know, a couple of weeks ago, they reran Falcone. Falcone. <laughs> That's right, they did. Yeah, Falcone. How did it do this? Well, they're done. they're done with Falcone, and now they're rerunning Last Dawn. They're rerunning that now. Uh huh. Mm -hmm. What's next? What? What could be next? Oh, geez, I think that's plenty, don't you? Uh -huh. <laughs> now, does this have anything to do with the conversation? Did I say to... that? No, you didn't. What are you doing out there? <laughs> and the guy, this is the guy that a couple of weeks ago was, uh, I'm sorry, we can't be reached. He's on a boat in the Mediterranean. Uh huh. <laughs> Uh, and now, last week, he was on a fishing trip. Oh, he was? Uh, yeah. I, I said to him, hey, you know, it wouldn't be good in prime time this summer. How about video of your vacations? Yeah. <laughs> <sighs> Number two, dear Dave, at the beach, how do they get them uh, little boats in the bottle? <laughs> oh, <God. laughs> a very thoughtful letter. How do they get them little boats in the bottle? You know, as, as silly as this sounds, we got a guy who's good at this, uh, head carpenter, Harold Larkin. Okay. This guy is a genius when it comes to, you know, making miniatures and stuff like that. And he'll now show you. Hi, Harold. How are you? All right, Dave. Harold Larkin, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> you see any of those vacation photos I was talking about? Excuse me? I say, have you seen any of those vacation photos I was talking about? No, I didn't see those. Okay. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you.
Now do, do yourself a favor and get in line. Uh, anyway, uh, Harold, you know how you get them uh, little boats in the bottle? Show, show the kid how you do that. Thanks, Dave. Yeah. As mysterious as they seem, the technique craftsmen like myself employ to get the miniature boat in the bottle couldn't be simpler. Oh. First, you construct your model. I built a replica. Thank you. Thank you. I built a replica of a 16th century Flemish, Flemish galleon. That's beautiful. It's lovely. Then, you take a glass bottle right. and break it. You all right? Actually, Dave, I don't know how they do it. Harold Larkin, ladies and gentlemen. How's it going? You all right? You okay? Oh, yeah, thanks. All right. All right, now. Letter number three, uh, how can I get Dave's autograph? This comes from Mike Pafanen... Gee, I don't know. El Paso, Texas. Well, we get this question a lot, and uh, here, here's how you get the autographs. Take a look. Getting Dave's autograph couldn't be easier. Step one, send in your name Mike to The Late Show. Pafanenita. 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 Step two. If your name is Mike Fannenstiel, don't waste your time. You want to go to dinner later? Sure, what are we having? I don't know. We're just going out with the boys. You want All to right. Yeah, you bring along those photos. No. <laughs> no. No. Uh, letter number four. How will, it, uh, how will you handle it when Kathy Lee uh, leaves Regis? You know, we've been goofing around. This is from Nancy uh, Kabakoff, uh, Cincinnati, Ohio. And uh, uh, she's been at Nancy uh, uh, Regis, uh, Kathy Lee. Yeah. Bruce, Bruce Bigelow has been on... Yes. Yeah. Kathy Lee has been on the show for f 15 years. And, and she's leaving, and, and we shouldn't make light of it because she's uh, been a fixture in this town and across the nation for 15 years, and it's just uh, too bad she's leaving. So we'll have to maybe uh, say goodbye to her one night, sneak over there and say goodbye to Kathy Lee, because she, I guess in about a week, Kathy Lee will be... Oh, leaving. cut the horse, Dave. <laughs> Sorry, Alan, what did you say? What? I said, cut the horse. Yeah. It's just a pathetic rumor spread by jealous lowlife. She is not leaving the show. Oh, no, I think, I think you may be. I mean, Paul, am I right? I understand she's We've, leaving. It's been yeah. on the news and everything. She announced she's leaving the show. Yeah. <laughs> she announced she's leaving the show. Well, I don't Wait. think that's necessary. Wake up and smell what you're shoveling, Letterman. She cannot leave. <laughs> Kathy Lee has been a fixture on morning television for the past 15 years. Mm -hmm. Well, now listen, she, uh, I think like six months ago she mentioned it, and then it was uh, in the papers and stuff. So no, I know, I no, know it's no, no, no. What? How about, how about the people who need her? Yeah. I mean, what about all the people who have no one to talk to in the morning and they need a little company, you know? Yeah, right. What about the gaping holes she'll be leaving in all of their lives? Did you ever stop to consider, Dave? Those people, before you perpetuated that slanderous lie on national television, did you? No, no, no I'm, I'm, I'm sorry, Alan. I didn't know you'd take it this hard, but I, I think it's the truth. Can I go for a walk? I, I think it's best. You do. Get it, get it. Don't lose it. Don't lose it. Don't lose it. You can do it now. Don't lose it. Don't lose it. Don't lose it. Don't lose it now. Don't lose it now.
Alan, is everything all right? Don't pay any attention to me, Dave. I'm drunk. <laughs> <laughs> He's drunk. <laughs>